name's Nathan, and you're watching Robot Masters. Check out my cool ride. I got the new Mercedes. It's all in hot pink. Today, we are going to be looking at the Roblox S5 spot clean and see how well it can do in an individual test. I gotta go pick up some groceries, but when I come back, let's go ahead and review some cool robots. <laughs> So in my last video, I had the Roborock S5 and the S9 do a spot clean together. I did realize after some comments that they were a little too close together. So I decided to, to do individual testing and to include a scale so we can get a very accurate reading of how much the debris is. So the best way to perform this test, I decided to wear the empty dustbin and then to keep track of the Wait, I like the scale because it goes down to three decimal places. So the dustbin is 5.48 ounces. So the next thing is I'm going to do is weigh the glass cup that's going to hold the granola. I decided to do one ounce of granola since it's an easy number to work with. So I'm going to tear out this glass and then I'm going to pour in one ounce of granola. So I really appreciate all the comments and feedback I have gotten from my channel, especially from my last video where it was the Roborock S5 versus the S9 spot cleaning video. I got a lot of positive feedback on it, thumbs up, and I also got a couple thumbs down, which is okay with me. Also, I got some comments stating that there was some inaccuracy in my test. Um, one of the biggest ones was the Roborock S5 was too close to the S9. So I'm going to go ahead and do an individualized spot clean test for each robot. Also, was pointing out that I should add a scale. So I went ahead and added a scale to this testing as well. So it looks like I'm going to do about one ounce of granola and see how much the Roborock will pick up. So the scale I'm using is from Vitamix. Um, it's a Bluetooth scale, so I can actually record the results on my smartphone. It's a very accurate scale to three decimal places. So if you like these types of videos, please smash the like button. Kind of helps me determine if these videos are successful or not. Also, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. I provide daily, sometimes weekly updates on these cool robot vacuums. I do a lot of in-depth reviews, testings, and overviews. And if there's any problems, I will research the problem and try to provide you guys the best possible answer. So we're just about to start the spot cleaning test on the Roborock S5. So the Roborock does a little bit different style of spot cleaning. Instead of doing a spiral pattern like on the Roomba S9, it actually does a small perimeter around the edges and then it will fill in that area with a back and forth sweeping motion. So right off the bat, the S5 side brush kind of picked up some of the granola. You may notice that it didn't scatter around the granola as much as on the i7. That's because the side brush isn't spinning as quickly. So let me know down in the comments if you guys own a Roborock and how you guys like it. Do you guys own the first generation, the Xiaomi, or do you guys have the newer version, the Roborock S6? Uh, I have seen different variations of this guy, the Roborock S50, S55. I think that's either due to different regions or different color schemes. I know they have a black Roborock, so it, other than the region or color scheme, I think they are the identical machines. If they are any different, please let me know in the comments. That would be great. So let's also talk about the worst robot vacuums you guys have owned. What's the worst vacuum that you have owned? Put it down in the comments. I think my worst robot vacuum that I have owned is the Rollybot Laser Eye. Um, besides the company basically only offering a handful of robot vacuums, and they don't even advertise their latest robot vacuum, which was the Rollybot Laser Eye. I think it was played with poor app integration. Um, despite having a really good 3D front sensor, it wasn't very good at app stability. Uh, it would constantly disconnect. Um, sometimes it would lose its mapping capabilities. So how often do you guys use the spot clean feature on these robot vacuums? I'll be honest with you, I rarely ever use the spot clean feature. If I'm going to clean an area, I would just clean the entire room.
The Roborock is almost done with its spot cleaning. Before we uh, continue on, I kind of want to give you guys a quick look at the i7 side brush and you guys can see a comparison of how fast the i7 side brush spins versus the Roborock side brush and you'll see that it kicks up debris. The i7's on the bottom and the S5's up top. Okay, here's the close-up shot of the S5 picking up the debris. I will also do a uh, slow-mo shot too so you can see how well the side brush is at keeping the debris in its extractors. Okay, here are the results. Let's get the scale turned on and we'll check the dustbin's weight. Dustbin. Keep in mind that I weighed the dustbin beforehand and look how much it went up. 6.475. That's not bad. It picked up 0.995 ounces of granola. I put in one ounce on the ground and it was able to pick up 0.995 ounces. So basically, it scored higher than a 99%. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys have a great rest of your day. Hope that this answers some of your questions. The Roborock S5 is a very good cleaner, also in spot clean mode as well. So there's just 0 0.005 ounces of bits and pieces here and there, but ultimately, if you're going to use the spot clean feature on the S5, go ahead, do it, it's great.